Hi everyone, welcome back to 30 Ways in 30 Days for Natural Migraine Management. Today we're up to day 12 and I wanna to talk to you more about sleep. So two days ago I talked about the importance of healthy sleep hygiene. Well today I wanted to talk to you about another way to try to improve and enhance your sleep and that is the sleep hormone melatonin. So our bodies secrete melatonin after the sun is set and it's basically a signal to us to get ready for bed, to wind down and go to sleep. Now in the morning when the sun begins to rise it actually suppresses the amount of melatonin secreted by the body so uh, it's a signal to our bodies to wake up so melatonin is a sleep hormone and it runs and helps to set our circadian rhythms so we know that people who are prone to migraine have low level levels of melatonin and so there are studies that show that if you take melatonin as a supplement it can benefit your sleep habits and also improve your migraine now not only does it help with sleep melatonin is also as a hormone it actually also is an antioxidant and it can also help with inflammation so there's three benefits for migraine helps with, with sleep, helps with um, inflammation, and helps with oxidative stress. So how much do you take? Well, the studies done, um, performed using melatonin, used anywhere from two to three milligrams. Three milligrams may be a good uh, starting point for an adult. If it's a child, you may want to use less. And actually, melatonin has also been really proven to be safe and effective in kids with migraine as well. So it's a great option. So um, the other thing I wanted to mention is don't take it consistently all the time. I would say take it for a few months, take a melatonin holiday, and then start again.